carrying capacity is the number of individuals of a species in an ecosystem that can be supported based on available resources. So what is the carrying capacity of this population? It's about 1.6 million. So what you have to do is take a line or take a, a ruler and go right through the middle of the fluctuations and then all the way over to the x or the y axis, sorry, and read what the population is. And here it would be about 1.6 million because it says population in millions. So another thing to note is um, that it's very common for students to draw the line at the top of the crests or the bottom of the crests, but really it's right through the middle of these fluctuations. Um, one of the things that tends to happen with populations is they shoot, they temporarily shoot a little bit above the carrying capacity and then they run out of food or resources and then go below and then come back up. And so it's very normal for them to fluctuate around the carrying capacity. So that's why we say it's right about in the middle of those fluctuations. So if we ask what year did the population reach the carrying capacity, you basically figure out where does this line intersect and come down to the x-axis. So it would be at approximately um, the year 1847. So if we ask how long did it remain at that carrying capacity, that answer would be about 83 years. It's very common for students to think, oh, it reached the carrying capacity here, and then it reached the carrying capacity here again, and that these are separate events reaching the carrying capacity. But remember, as I said, the carrying capacity, or the population is going to fluctuate above and below the carrying capacity, even if it's a basically stable population. So it's been at this carrying capacity for this entire time. So we figure if each of these um, tick marks is 25 years, this is about five more years. So we say, uh, you know, we take the 1930 and go back to where it reached the carrying capacity, which we said was 1847. So 1930 minus 1847 would be 83 years. So we're going to be talking about some other factors that affect the population. And there are two types of factors that affect the population. There are density dependent factors and density independent factors. Density dependent factors are those that are affected by the population density. And density independent factors are those that regulate the population growth without depending on the density of the population. So some other factors that affect the population size that are not related to carrying capacity are infectious diseases, predators, natural disasters, war, and birth control and modern medicine. So why are infectious diseases density dependent? Well, if you're in a very densely populated area, the diseases spread more quickly, and predators are attracted to densely populated areas, but yet if you're in a densely populated area and you're a prey, you're less likely to get eaten by predators because there are more of you. So both of those factors would be considered density dependent factors. Density independent factors do not depend on the density. So for example, a natural disaster is certainly going to kill more people if it hits in a highly populated area, but it is not really dependent on the area. It can hit in, in um, it's not more likely to happen in a densely populated area, like an infectious disease is more likely to spread due to the density of the population. And war is density independent. And birth control and modern medicine are density independent. So birth control keeps our population lower and keeps us from reaching the carrying capacity. And modern medicine would actually keep us alive longer. So it keeps, since there's more people surviving for longer, we inch up closer to our carrying capacity if we keep people alive longer. So be very careful because it's very common for students to think that anything that affects the population size is a carrying capacity issue. But remember for carrying capacity issues, it has to be based on available resources. So natural disasters 
um, can definitely lower your population, but they're not related to you not having enough resources. So, for example, resources like food, water, or shelter. War is another example that you know, is not related to carrying capacity. It's not related to um, whether we have enough resources. Certainly people and might end up going to war over the lack of resources, um, but that's a different situation.